when he got to Ephesus, he, his great challenge was laid out in terms of this uh, city which was given over to pagan idolatry and, and all kinds of moral uh, difficulties in terms of the population and the criminals and the crooks that were in the streets there. Uh, and he, it was an amazing success for Paul that he could even get the people to burn those magical texts, the aphasia grammata, the Ephesian writings. And then, of course, when the silversmiths attacked him, uh, Paul, I think in the dumbest idea Paul ever had during this riot, he wanted to go out and quiet the crowd. Thank God they didn't let him do it. They had to torn him limb for limb. And, and indeed, uh, they prevented him from uh, going out in the theater there. And then finally, the Roman agent in Ephesus at that point quieted the crowd after two hours of chanting. You know what it sounds like in Greek? Megale he artemis ton ephesion. Megale he artemis ton ephesion. Great is Artemis of the Ephesians and so forth, trying to justify all the little silver model temples that we're making for her and uh, her images as well. And by the way, to the present day yet in Ephesus, they're still selling little models of the temple and statuettes of the many-breasted goddess Artemis. Mm -hmm.